This video demonstrates the proper cleaning method for the Cook Shack FEC 300. To keep your smoker working at peak performance, it's important to keep it clean. On a daily basis, three things need to be cleaned. The fire pot, the grease, and the cooking racks. It is important to remember as you begin the cleaning process that the smoker may be hot and care should be used. Let's look at cleaning out the fire pot. Cleaning the fire pot daily is one of the most crucial parts of cleaning your smoker. Failure to clean out the fire pot before you start the unit can cause the igniter to fail and also can cause pellets to back up the slide and have a hopper fire. So we need to make sure that we clean the fire pot out each day. We'll demonstrate how to do that, but also if you're cooking overnight, it's important that each morning when you come in that you clean the fire pot out also. The easiest way to do this is using a fireplace vacuum. To clean out the fire pot, you simply open the fire pot door. Beware that this area can be hot. Take your fireplace vacuum and vacuum out the fire pot. Cleaning the grease out of the unit is simple. You take a bucket and place under the drain valve in the front of the unit and simply open the valve and drain the grease out of it and dispose of the grease properly. To wash the rack, simply remove them from the smoker and place them into your sink and wash them and then replace in the smoker. It is important that weekly we do a deep clean of the smoker. There are five areas to be cleaned. First, we do the daily cleaning as normal. Secondly, we will vacuum out the furnace area to remove all ash. Third, we will vacuum out the pellet hopper to remove any sawdust. Fourth, we'll do a deep clean of the cooking chamber to remove all buildup grease and creosote. And fifth, we will clean the convection fan. To clean out the hopper, you simply open the hopper lid, remove any excess pellets that are in the hopper, and then vacuum the hopper out, making sure that you remove any sawdust from the bottom of the hopper. The method for deep cleaning the cooking chamber that uses the least amount of water is to use a putty knife to scrape the buildup grease and creosote out of the unit. This is done by simply cooling the unit down, removing all the cooking racks and the supports for those, and then using a putty knife to scrape the interior of the smoker. After you've scraped the side walls of the smoker, then it's important to scrape the bottom and remove any buildup grease that is left in the smoker. One method to wash out the cooking chamber is to heat the unit up to about 275 degrees and then wash it out with a garden hose. You simply set your controller to 275 and get the unit hot. And then you simply open the door and you wash out all of the racks and spray the sidewalls of the smoker. You then have to remove the water as you would the grease. The convection fan is located at the back of the unit. There are two ways to get to it to clean it. The first is to go through the firebox door. Simply open up the firebox door, take a long handled brush, and reach up inside the unit to clean the convection fan. The other way is to go in through the front of the unit, remove the racks, and brush the brush from inside the unit. Either way, it is important to remove any small debris that is on the fan as it will cause the fan to get out of balance and fail. The simple brush will take care of it and it's very easy to get clean. 